Now we get to the distribution of income. Government can make its people less poor, but it cannot make them rich. The free market system rewards people differently according to their opportunities and abilities and tends to generate an unequal distribution of income. Those with wealth find it easier to generate more, and those without generally find it harder. The question of what constitutes a just or fair distribution of income has long troubled economists and philosophers. While there's agreement that a free market system tends to generate an unequal distribution of income, some advocates of the free market argue that it produces the most efficient allocation of resources and the problem of income distribution is not an economic issue but a political one. The supporters of government intervention, on the other hand, to change the distribution of income, argue that the outcome of the market depends on the initial distribution of income. They feel that if the society is characterised by very rich people and very poor people, the structure of demand and prices will be such that more value is placed on luxury goods than essential goods. Most communities also don't like it that some people live in the lap of luxury, while others are poverty-stricken and approve of measures to change the distribution of income. There are a number of measures that government can take to influence the distribution of income. It can make use of what is called the progressive tax system, which means that the more you earn, the higher the percentage of your income you have to pay in tax. It is, uh, I think, in terms of government policy and tax policy for the Minister of Finance and for his cabinet colleagues, it must at some point be a consideration to say, is there this, uh, is there this proportionate burden of taxation um, on certain sections of the, of the population and do they get uh, proper services that government ought to be delivering in turn for what they contribute to the country's fiscus in terms of tax. What the taxpaying public must realise is that yes, they, we still live in an unequal society and that the disparities between access to provision of services, um, the quality of service provision is still an issue. I feel tax is good when it's spent properly. You know, because most of our taxpayers' money, uh, and don't quote me on this, but this is being wasted, I suppose, on, um, you know, just pumping up um, government salaries and stuff like that, which is, it's become a, 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 a problem. Who would pay for hospitals, medical, schooling, all those things? You need it. There are things that we don't see that need to be paid for, and that comes from, um, from our taxes. So it's the things you don't see that you need those, you need government intervention for, to get the money in, to look after infrastructure and stuff like that. It would not be looked after by um, large corporations. In a situation where uh, no one would pay tax or there's a tax rebellion, uh, the most serious impact would of course be government's ability would be compromised to deliver basic uh, governance functions. So those would be the provision of services, etc. It can also provide free or subsidised goods and services, such as primary health care, education and housing for the poor. It can provide social welfare grants, such as old age pensions and child grants. And it can implement empowerment programmes, like South Africa's BEE, designed to increase the participation of vulnerable or previously disadvantaged groups of people in the economy. Market failure.